So in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a tree in Xactimate. The reason we want to build a tree is to break down the estimate into um, a very similar style where we can go through all areas of the house and address all those areas whether there was damage or not. So I'll show you what I mean here in a little bit better detail. Um, but this is what you should see. You should have a claim number uh, or maybe the insurance name right here. But to start building the tree, we're just going to click Add. And I'm going to go through all the major areas of the house or all the areas that we should have inspected. And I'm going to give a different folder for each section. So I'm going to start off with Roof here. And I'm going to click Continuous Add because I'll be adding several different folders. And I'll click Attach. And for the next one, I'm going to write Exterior. And you see that it didn't didn't quite go where I wanted it to, so I'm going to move it here. And to continue on, I'm going to click Add again. This time we're going to add Interior. We'll add Other Structures. And we'll add Debris Removal. And obviously these didn't go where I wanted them either, so I'm just going to drag them back out here. All right, so here's the, the basis of our tree. Now let's add some branches here on exterior. We'll add front elevation, right elevation, rear elevation, and left elevation. Now this is basically, basically what our tree is going to look like. If you had items in sketch, you know, you may have master bedroom, master bath, you know, living room under the interior section. Um, if you had the sketch in roof, um, over in sketch, it, it should be under the roof section. But I don't have any sketches in there, so this is what it, it looks like. Now, even if there's not damage, I want to make sure that I address that specific area of the house. So, say we inspected the exterior and there was no damage at all. Well, I've got an F9 note here, pre-saved, that I'm going to double click on. And it just says, no damage noted to the elevation during inspection. So once I have that in there, I'm just going to copy and paste it in each area. And this shows that I've addressed that specific elevation, that I inspected it, there was no damage found. So if someone looking at this later on says, well, he, he never inspected the exterior, well, I did inspect it, there was just no damage. And I've got a similar F9 note here for the interior say no damage noted to the interior during the inspection and you can do that you know with any of these others if you've got a shed roof the shed roof would be under other structures and it would be another branch to that tree but this is the way that ASI would like all of our estimates to look um, it's very uniform so one person's estimate should look exactly the same as someone else's